Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to model a, a little bit of an advanced robo claw thing. I just want to do a different kind of shape. Um, I've gone and I put it into an image plane, and here, let's get rid of this. Uh, I'm just going to move this image plane so it's a bit easier to use. So if I take a look, I'm going to push it back on the Z axis and I'll scale it up. I'm going to make it a bit taller so it's up top here. Okay, and let's get rid of this thing. And I usually put this on two planes here. And so, yeah, a little bit easier to see, I hope. Um, <clears throat> so, to make this shape, I'm going to go in and uh, go to the mesh tools. I'll get to the create polygon tool. Actually, before I do the polygon tool, let's just take this and I'm going to go in. I'll make it so it's kind of a bit more straighter-ish. And I'm just kind of thinking about it so I can find it easier to use. I'm just using it for inspiration. Just inspiration. Pure inspiration. Um, and I'm going to go up here and I'll kind of put in some points. Remember, when you're drawing, draw counterclockwise. Okay, it's going to make your life a lot easier. And if you kind of think about it, when you're placing points, you can place one here and place one over here. And just kind of like figuring out where these are going to go around the object and make sure there's something similar on the opposite side, just because it makes your life just a little bit easier. Okay, there, kind of going around this shape here and okay, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because I can always fix it later. Just the less fixing, the better. Okay, I'm just holding it down, holding down the mouse. Remember, if you don't like a point that you've placed, just hit backspace. And everything's going okay. And I'm going to hit enter to finish it off. So now i got the shape. Okay, you can totally see it over here. Um, and now what I want to do is uh, I want to split it up so I've got mostly quads. The odd triangle is acceptable, but I always try and get it all into quads here. Let's just move this. Um, so I'm going to get the multi-cut tool. That's mesh tools, multi-cut tool. And if I click on the object here, whoop, there it snapped to a point. I just middle click, backspace, and I could put one here. Eh. And you kind of notice that as I hesitate over it here, I'll go to this one here. Um, you can see it there, it'll highlight the point, the vertice, okay, and you can see the edges, solid, and then you can kind of see this edge, know that there should be a point there maybe, there, and flicking my way around here, and sometimes I'll kind of work from one end or the other, trying to figure it out, okay, oh, I put in a lot of points in here, I'm going to Maybe I'll end up getting rid of that, or I can put just one right through this edge, the center of it. And here. There. And there. Okay. Fine. And remember, too, that with this tool, if you double-click on the icon over here, when you pop up the keyboard mouse shortcuts, your life is better. Okay? I can go and hold down Shift, or actually I'm holding down Control, rather. And I can pop in these points. Great. And what have I got here? I think I saw something like that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And I, again, you can kind of tweak things as you go and say, well, I don't know if I like the vertice placement there. I'm just going to move this here. And I'm not following this thing exactly. I'm using this for inspiration. There. Okay, good enough. Um, <clears throat> and now... Uh, once I have it like this, um, that makes it easy to go and hit uh, Control E to extrude. Remember, extrude lives up under uh, Edit Mesh, Extrude, Hotkey, Control E. Great. Um, and then, let's see, what other crazy things can I do? Uh, <clears throat> I can, let's see, if I'm looking at this, what do I think about this? If I grab these vertices here, I'll pull this down a bit. I'm trying to find a way to kind of round this out, make it look a little bit better. Okay, and I don't know if I like that one there. I'm just going to move this here. Okay. Um, and actually, I don't like that one there. I'm going to move this up so it's a bit more even to... And maybe even here. You know what I'm going to do right through here? I'm going to go into my uh, multi-cut tool. Hold down control. I can do an insert edge loop. And I'm thinking about... 
what this is going to look like underneath this area. Okay, and also I'm going to try and do some Boolean action here. Okay, so maybe just before I even do the Boolean action, uh, I don't I don't think I need this image anymore. Oops. Uh, let's go up here to object mode. Take this thing and I'm going to put it onto a layer and I'm going to hide it for now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I was thinking about right here, I'm going to put in some kind of um, Boolean. Okay, so I'm just going to get this uh, object. I'm going to make sure it's yellow here. And if I uh, bring it up, I can hold down X and... Oops, crap. Uh, if I hold down X and I middle click, I can pop it up here. Let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, maybe I should rotate it. Hold down J. And here, I'm just going to go into wireframe for a second so I can figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, grab the move tool. I'll hold down V so it's kind of in the crosshairs right here. I did it just in the two axes, not in the front one. Um, and actually, I'm kind of looking at this and thinking, mm, I should have maybe go to the top view. And I'm just going to take this object I've made and I'm going to center the pivot up here or modify center pivot. And I'm just going to go here and I'm going to hold down X and I'll snap it to the center of the grid. Now it's centered. Okay. And there, I'm just going to do something like this. And you can kind of see it in both views. <clears throat> okay, cool. And, uh, and yeah, I should be good there. Okay. And then if I take these two objects here and I go up to mesh and I hit it with a boolean z union, okay, then I've got to come back and clean it up a little bit and think about it. Um, <clears throat> if I go and I get mesh tools, target weld. And target weld, I can come around here and you know, get this side here. Click on a vertice. I usually make sure I click out here someplace first. So I'm deselecting because Maya has this habit of coming in with remembering what your last component selected was and I don't like that but whatever there boop oh click you bastard there right click I missed backspace Arr! Z Z let's try it again click click got it and right there that's a good example of why I like the old polygon tool better uh, but whatever it's gone they took it away they made me sad and click here Oop, got it okay and sometimes this is a good one to check if you just go and you hit uh, three you can see if it smooths out you can kind of see okay that looks good see the other side just doesn't look good I have to come back here and clean that up or what I could do <clears throat> if I'm being super sneaky um, is uh, let's go and hit one again and maybe this object if I go here to mesh mirror, we happen to know we're in the positive Z over here. So if I go to mesh mirror, there's an option here called uh, cut geometry. It's on world, put on Z and mirror direction. That's interesting. Cut geometry. Let's go here, edit reset settings. Z negative one. Okay. Oh, there must've been some down here ahead. Anyway, when I hit apply, you'll see it cuts it in the middle and it mirrored it over to the other side. Okay. The only time you got to watch out is if your seam is kind of funny in the middle, then you got trouble. Um, <clears throat> so that's working out and I'll hit three just to double check and make sure there's nothing funny. I can see it on my mesh. If there's something funny, everything's good. Okay. Uh, let's hit one. And I'm thinking it might be interesting to use, uh, Let's go back over here to mesh, uh, or not mesh, mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, and I'll pop a loop here, pop a loop here. Okay, kind of the same thing as the other uh, tool, but different. You go to the front view, and you could spend some time kind of like tweaking this and seeing that you got some kind of nice arcs in here. Okay. I just always try and make these so they look smooth, like they're intentionally transitioned, not too lumpy. Um, and there's other ways to do it, but I'm not going to get too into it. I uh, just don't like this. Okay. And put in some finesse. Okay, yeah, it looks that looks nice now, man. Yeah. Okay, so um, now, now that I got something like this going on, um, let's play a little bit. 
because then I could take this and I could just kind of be creative. Uh, if I grab, say, this face, this one, where am I? I'm up there. So what if I do this? I'm just going to grab all these right through here. Maybe down to here. I'm going to deselect these ones. Okay, so I got all those faces selected. And if I just hit extrude, whoop, and I pull that out a wee bit, and then I went ahead and I extruded again. Whoop, pull it out a bit more. Okay, great. And then maybe if I grab this face, hold down shift, double click, and then I maybe deselect these ones right here, and also these ones right here, and I extrude again. Whoop, and I'll just do that again. Pull it out a bit more, just a little bit to give it a little tiny bevel, and there, that looks kind of interesting. If I hit three, I just check it out, make sure nothing went wacky. Up here, if I want to kind of reinforce it, this this one a bit wacky here, I'll use the insert edge loop tool. I'm going to hit one, and uh, I'm holding down control, click there, and there's probably another one like that right down here too. There, good. And now if I hit three, and I grab my move tool, check it out. You can do more of this kind of stuff, and getting some kind of interesting result. Um, maybe here, I'm actually going to put my insert edge loop tool here. I kind of like the insert edge loop tool because uh, when you're using it, well, it kind of goes to wireframe and come back a little bit. Whoop. Okay, just to get that extra edge in here. For some reason, it's just slightly different than the other tools. So um, <clears throat> I find it more satisfying. Okay, so next thing is let's try and uh, do some other improvements to this or something else that makes it interesting because right now it's just kind of a flat panel. So boring, boring. Um, let's go in here and I'm going to uh, grab some faces. And I'll grab, say, these ones. Okay, and I'm going to extrude and I'm going to use a little bit of offset action. So I pull it in a bit. I'm going to hit one when I do it so it's easier to see what the hell I'm doing. Great. And then I can hit delete. I'll grab, double click on that edge, double click on that one, and I'm going to go here to edit mesh and I'll hit it with a bridge. Okay. And then I'll take these, control E, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a few of these because I think they look interesting. Yes. Delete. And then I'm going to bridge. Okay, and <clears throat> let's do a few more of these. Um, just make, I didn't check, so I should check offset. And go in here, grab edge. You know, if I really wanted to, because I happen to know there's only really two holes in this, like I double click usually to get these edges, I probably don't even need to do that, just so you're aware. I could probably just go ahead and hit bridge and it'll do it. Okay, so I can do it on the object, but there has to be you know, two holes of equal edge count. So let's take these, go in here and extrude, offset, delete, and I can do it again, or I should do it the proper way, just in case I screw up someone's life. And you told us we could do it like that. There, and uh, how do I feel about this? It's interesting enough that I should stop before I get too far. Okay. And um, let's go and do something else that's kind of wacky for this. Um, I kind of like how this is looking here. Um, what if, actually let's do some reinforcing edges here. So if I hit three, I just want to see what this is going to look like. I'm using the insert edge loop tool. What time are we at? Okay, because I got to watch out. I'm starting to go crazy. And just horsing around. And I don't think I can do any more in here because the edge loop tool isn't going to work on that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I might have to do some fancy, fancy work here to make this work. Okay. This is probably not the best way to do this, but whatever. It makes it look cool fast. And later on, I'll explain a better way to do what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I like that. That makes it magical, man. Magical. Okay. There. Stop doing this. I can't stop. I'm kind of going for it. It's fun. Okay, there we go. I'll say that. No, but what about that? Okay, let's do that one up there too. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's undo that one. Let's 
go over take that one closer here. Okay, cool. Let's just deselect and see what we got. Okay, so this is looking interesting. Hopefully interesting. Um, then I'm going to try something weird. Um, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab... Uh, let's grab myself by the vertices and I'll go and grab these ones. I'm going to go and hit B and B will turn on my soft selection. And why is it not turning on my soft selection on my move tool? Did I do something weird? Soft selection, reset. I think, what did I do? I was probably horsing around in here and did I turn off? I turn off the viewport color on it. Oh, there we go. There, come on you bastard. B, there. So I think, uh, yeah, sometimes I horse around. And uh, do I like that? Nope. E, middle click. Go to there, say that should be good. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I just kind of move this over to the side here because I thought this might look interesting. And uh, one other thing I should do maybe before I get too carried away is I'm just going to punch a hole through this and boolean it. Um, so if I go down here and I grab this object and I'm just going to make sure I move my pivot point so DV there and then over here it looks like I've got my soft selections still selected I'm just going to hit B and turn that off and then I'll take this I'm going to make a duplicate and I'm going to pull my duplicate down here okay and grab myself by the vertices and pull. Um, I'm just going to hit one so you can see what I've actually got going on down here. Great. And I was thinking somewhere right around here. This is interesting. There, there, boop. And I'm going to call it something like that. Um, and I could try to make it rotate so it's just like less work potentially for it to fit there, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one first, then grab this one, and I'm going to go to uh, Mesh. I'm going to hit it with Boolean Difference. There, I've just punched out a hole. Um, then I'm going to try to clean this up quickly. So I'll get my multi-cut tool. Actually, I'm going to get the first one I'll get is the target weld. And I'll just make sure I'm on vertices. I can see this one here in the background is giving me issues. I'm going to move these closer to where the cylinder shape was um, as opposed to moving the cylinder shape ones towards the other mesh because I think it will keep it round. Okay, cool. And I'll get the multi-cut tool and I'll multi-cut myself again. Actually, if I had a thought about this, I probably would, would have done this in a slightly different order. Uh, done the Boolean first and then uh, took it to... Uh, moved it off center because I have something in my brain that I want to make I should have even sat down and drew it all out so I can show you what my plan was but sometimes I don't do that okay and there we go okay so now I got this and <clears throat> um, then I want to try and do my crazy let's delete the history on this thing and I'm going to hit it with a mirror cut again. Boop. Mirror. Oh, yeah. And this quickly becomes something a lot more interesting to look at. Um, maybe I should have only done ha I shouldn't have pulled it out quite so far. If I go in here and I grab myself with the vertices again, and I uh, want to pull this towards the center, if I turn my symmetry on, so world Z, you'll see that when I pull it this way, it goes and does the same thing over there. So let's hit soft selection. Oh, yeah bring it back a little bit okay and uh, let's grab these vertices right here I think those could be more interesting I'm just gonna turn the soft selection off I'll scale them actually when I do this I'm gonna turn the symmetry back off again so that yeah I can do that okay okay I find that interesting looking I might have to go in and do some cleanup some of these uh, pieces here that in the middle might be off um, and I can see that right up in here I'm gonna end up with some kind of triangle the odd triangle like I said isn't too bad those are all 
square here. There's something here that... Let's go and hit it with three. Yeah, you can see I've got like an end gone in here. I'm just going to take that edge. I need to clean up. I'll use Edit Mesh. I'll use Collapse. Um, I'm going to keep that the way it is for now. And there's another one here. I'm just going to hit one. What does that look like? Let's just go in and collapse that. And this is a quad. That's a quad. Everywhere there's a quad. Okay. And if I wanted to, to kind of like, without losing this shape too drastically, if I grab this edge and I do an edge ring and split, um, came around to the other side over here, I'll do the same thing here. All I did was hold down control, right click, edge ring and split. And then I can get my multi-cut tool. And I can clean myself up with my cutting tool. There. And I could have symmetry on as I'm doing this too, but I don't always like to. There. And I can spend some more time cleaning this up. Like actually right up in here. I don't like these edges right here. So I'm just going to take this one. And this one. And I'm just going to go and collapse those. I'll live with those triangles. Do I see anything else funky in here? Um, there's another end gone right there. And what if I just take that and I collapse it? I could do some kind of insert edge loop or something like that. I'm going to hit three. See how it smooths out. This is this looks interesting. So. Um, I should probably stop here. I'll just delete the history, give it a name. Okay, and I should save. Oh, actually one other thing. Um, no, there's one more thing I want to do down in here. Uh, instead of going in and using the insert edge loop tool on this, another trick that I can do is, uh, let's hit one so you can see it. There's another tool in here, uh, mesh tools. So there's uh, slide edge, there's insert edge loop, and there's also a offset edge loop. <clears throat> or actually even better yet, let's do this one. Um, double click, double click, double click, double click. Actually, I wanna get these things too. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work. This might take me too long. I uh, gotta go all the way up and around to do this. Well, let's see what happens when I do it. There. Hopefully, I don't run this video too long. I was trying to do it in 10 minutes, but whatever. Okay, good enough. Um, and I'm just gonna take those and I'm gonna hit it with uh, a bevel. Boop. And usually I have the bevel set, so I have like two segments there. And the fraction, you can make that a bit smaller. Okay, but that's going to give you quick rounding out of these things and usually should keep you in quads um, and we'll call it good. I'm just going to take this and move it there and now I got something interesting to play with. Again, delete the history, save it and I'm going to stop this video now.